Okay, we're going to be, hello, hello, hello. We're going to be recording uh, a, the editing of an essay on creativity. And this is the essay. Creativity is the key to problem solving. Uh, to what extent do you agree or disagree with this statement? So we're going to take a look at this essay. And we will be focusing mainly on organization. All right. So 313 words. That's good. Okay, it has words, uh, 313, yeah, that's the number I remember, and we want to see the, the opening paragraph. What do we need in the, in the opening paragraph? Uh, each introduction, or a good introduction, has to have um, a hook, background information, and uh, also uh, the thesis statement. So let's see how many words we have here. 67 words. Words, 67. And let's see, it says, some people believe that being creative is the most important skill when solving any problem. I believe that creativity is important to solve problems, but it is not the key factor as creativity by itself is not enough to find possible solutions and implement the best one. In my opinion, there are two, diff two other factors that are as important as creativity when it comes to problem solving. So this is her thesis statement. And this is the hook. Some people believe that being creative is the most important skill when solving any problem. Okay. Yes, I like the hook. And uh, I like the thesis statement. The hook does gets my attention. And the thesis statement is saying that there are other, other factors. There are other factors, two factors that are important. Um, uh, even are as important as creativity, N not more important, as important. Yeah. Okay. And what about the background? I believe that creativity is important to so far, but it is not the key factor as creativity by itself is not enough to find possible solutions and implement the best, uh, the best one. And I would put here to find the best solutions and implement the best one. Yeah. Okay. So now let's see here. This is a, the first body paragraph. And here I will insert this. I will paste all of this. And how many words does this have? A tool, word count 93. And this is writing. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. The comments. And how many words? Words 93. To begin with, I think that knowledge is the first ingredient in problem solving. Okay, yeah, correct. So this is, let's say the first topic sentence. So not only creativity, but, all, but also knowledge. And let me copy here the topic sentence. And that's it. In order to solve a problem, you need to know certain information. In order to solve a problem, you need to know certain information regarding the matter under examination. In order to solve a problem, yeah. If, for example, in order to solve an algebra problem, humans, coma, uh, humans need to know basic mathematical concepts according to the mathematical task that uh, they are about to solve. Uh, therefore, the amount of information that any human knows is positively correlated to the type of problems such a person can solve. Uh, people that are more educated are expected to perform better in different problem solving situations. Okay. All right, so I see that all of this a, a paragraph has to do with knowledge. In order to solve a problem, you need to know uh, here, I would put a comma, uh, you need to know certain information regarding the matter under examination. Yes. For example, and you're giving an example here, in order to solve an algebra problem, human needs, humans need to be need to know basic mathematical concepts according to the mathematical task they are about to solve. Uh, 
Therefore, the amount of information that any human knows is positively correlated to the type of problem such a person can solve. Okay, yes, all right. In my opinion, this is a very basic, a simple paragraph. There are not as many connectors. And here you're talking about math to give an example. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's okay. All right. Now let's see the other paragraph. Okay, the other paragraph. And here, how many words do we have? Uh, let's see. I will copy this. And I will insert this a table right there. Okay. And I will paste this information. And here I have comments. All right. And how many words do I have? I have 100 words, that's good. Words, a 100. Secondly, humans need to question their knowledge in order to elaborate theories and solutions. Okay, so the previous paragraph is about knowledge. And this is about questioning your knowledge. Okay, but let's see the thesis statement. I mean, th the last sentence in your introduction. In my opinion, there are two other factors that are important as creativity, that are as important as creativity when it comes to problem solving. So the first factor is knowledge. And the second one is questioning your knowledge. Okay, all right. So questioning your knowledge. Let's see if that's correct. The ability to question information is called critical reasoning. Okay. For example, without critical reasoning, humans will not be able to analyze and evaluate a problem from a problem uh, from different angles. Why? Uh, because it's the very first time that you're mentioning a problem in this paragraph. So the first time you mention something, it has to come, it, you have to use a, uh, the indefinite article. Uh, then the second time you mention something, then you can use that. Finally, to complete the knowledge critical, finally, to complete the knowledge critical reasoning, do it. I believe I believe that creativity plays an important role when facing unfamiliar situations. If I don't think, oh, okay, I believe that creativity, okay. Some problems are difficult to solve because the matters and their analysis are rare to us. In those cases, creativity is needed in order to put information in perspective and to promote critical reasoning regarding regarding unusual or un un uncommon situations. Okay, so I have a comment here to make. And, um, and what is my comment about this duet? No, duet. Here you're talking about a duet, all right? A duet, a knowledge and critical reasoning. Okay, all right. But there's something that I don't like that much about this paragraph. Here, uh, you say that there's a, finally, to complete the knowledge critical reasoning duet. I believe that creativity plays an important role when facing unfamiliar situations. So you are talking about creativity here. Yes. So I have the feeling that you're trying to connect a um, critical thinking uh, and creativity, uh, but in this paragraph, your topic sentence is saying that uh, humans need to question their knowledge. Yeah, so if I see this topic sentence, I have the feeling that the whole paragraph is going to be about questioning your knowledge or questioning certain knowledge. It's gonna be about critical thinking, but I don't, I don't see that here in the whole paragraph. Here at the very end of the paragraph, I see that you are talking about creativity mm -hmm. as part of the 
of critical thinking. Okay, maybe that is a way in which you can um, develop your main point of view. Uh, um, but I'm not very sure, I'm not pretty sure if uh, this is a, a strong argument you know, to defend the fact that um, here, no. Yes, I'm not very sure about how efficient it could be. Maybe if I can give it a, a second read. Secondly, humans need to question their knowledge in order to elaborate theories and solutions. The, the ability to question information is called critical thinking. Okay, so you are defining here critical thinking. So, for example, without critical a reasoning, humans will not be able to analyze and evaluate a problem from different angles. Okay, so here I have the feeling that you are like, you have just started to, to, to establish the ground for your argument. Yeah, and when you are about to give me more information about how important a critical thinking is, you start talking about something different. That's why I believe that this is not as strong as it could be. Finally, to complete the knowledge critical reasoning duet, I believe that creativity plays an important role when facing unfamiliar situations. Some problems are difficult to solve because the matter and their analysis are rare or the matters and their analysis are rare to us. In those cases, creativity is needed in order to put information in perspective and to promote critical reasoning regarding unusual or uncommon situations. So here you're trying to merge, to, you're trying to blend a creativity and critical thinking, but I'm not sure if this makes your paragraph and your argument stronger. In my opinion, green weakens your paragraph, okay? Because your thesis is telling me that there are two other factors that are as important as creativity. And green is not adding to uh, the second factor. In my opinion, green is introducing a third factor. Green is introducing creativity as a third component. So after reading all of this, I have this feeling. Number one, knowledge. Number two, critical thinking. And then you're talking about a duet. Yes, but I feel that you're introducing a third argument, creativity. But your thesis at the end of the introduction is saying that there are other factors, two other factors. You're not saying that there are three factors and that, that creativity is part of, of, of that group of three factors. So I don't know if my point is clear or clear enough to, to be followed. But I believe green weakens your second body paragraph. Conclusion, let's see the conclusion. All right, so this is the conclusion. And let me introduce this here. And I'm pasting this here. And uh, how many words do I have in this conclusion? Uh, 53 words, a 53, and comments. In conclusion, there are three factors that are equally important when addressing and resolving problems. Knowledge, critical reasoning, and creativity. Okay. In my opinion, creativity is the ability to create new ideas or concepts from previous knowledge using critical reasoning. Therefore, in order to solve problems, you will need three of them. Okay, yes, now I see your intention, but the problem 
the problem is the thesis. Look, in my opinion, there are two other factors that are as important as creativity when it comes to problem solving. And here, your the question is, creativity is the key to problem solving. To what extent do you agree or disagree with this statement? So here you're saying that, in my opinion, there are two other factors that are as important as creativity when it comes to problem solving. And some people believe that being creative is the most important skill. I believe that creativity is important to solve problems, but it is not a key factor as creativity by itself is not enough to find possible solutions. So yes, okay, so you're saying that creativity is good, all right? Then you're saying in the thesis that there are two other factors. You are not saying here that you don't agree, that you don't believe that creativity is, is not important. I mean, that you do believe that creativity is important, that's okay. And, but here in this paragraph, you're saying that knowledge is important. Here, you're barely saying that questioning your knowledge and critical thinking is important. And your priority was to make the connection between this duet that you mentioned, uh, made up by critical thinking and um, creativity. And then in the conclusion, you're saying that there are three things that are important for uh, solving problems. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes, yes. Now I can, I can tell the whole idea. Yes, yes. Okay, so I have to, I have to say, yes, that once you reach the conclusion, it's easier to get to where you are getting, all right? Um, in the introduction, when I finish reading the introduction, I have the feeling that you're gonna write about two things. That's why after reading the first paragraph, I'm okay with the first item. When I read the second paragraph, I have the, I have the sensation, I, I, I believe that um, your second point is lost. But in your conclusion, you're putting the two ingredients together. Okay, so I think that in general, you have done a very good job with this one, yeah? A very good job with this one. However, I personally don't like the second paragraph. Mm -hmm. I don't really like the second paragraph because I don't find any strong argument supporting the importance of critical thinking. Mm -hmm. So your main task here was to put or to make a connection between critical thinking and creativity. Yes, not to develop on critical thinking. And in your introduction, you paraphrase the thesis somehow because your thesis talks about two things. Here, this thesis is talking about three things. And you're giving your opinion. Yes. And here you're summarizing your point of view. And here, reaching a conclusion. Yes, it's a nice it's a nice conclusion. I really like it. Yeah. So you have a stick to your style, you no? Know, because I know this student. This student is sticking to her style. She's always one. She's always creative when she writes. Yeah. And that's why I got lost here a little bit in the second paragraph. So I think that you get to make your point clear by the end of the essay, all right? It would be better to have a stronger second paragraph, I believe, for sure, okay? All right, so I don't know if that makes sense to you. Thank you. <laughs>